This is a view of a uh, mixed forest in the eastern side of uh, the Yamagata University Research Forest. You are seeing it now with a drone flying at an altitude of approximately 100 meters. What you are seeing now is a typical mixed forest of uh, oak, uh, maple, beech, and a, a plantation of large. Uh, most of the trees that you see very yellow, still very yellow, are uh, large and those trees that have very few leaves and are uh, already yellow are maple trees. Uh, you can see here two species of uh, coniferous, the ones with the longest uh, branches, the ones that you see at the bottom at the moment is a European uh, spruce, there are very few of them. And the rest, the ones that you see with a very conical shape, are uh, cedar uh, trees. It's a native species, it's called uh, Japanese cedar, and the scientific name is uh, Cryptomeria japonica. The beach that you can see here is uh, Fagus crenata, and the oak uh, mainly is uh, Quercus mongolica, and uh, there are different kinds of maples, but uh, the one, the, the most common one is uh, Acer monomaxim. As you can see here, uh, the most planted coniferous uh, tree species is uh, cedar. I would say that almost 90% of all the planted uh, trees are coniferous and most, uh, not the 100% of trees are coniferous, but 90% is uh, cedar. Along the river, there is uh, another tree species uh, which are uh, ripi ripi riparian trees. Um, among them uh, we find uh, wing nuts, uh, walnuts, um, there is a tree called a wedding cake trade which is Cornus controversa. There is a Japanese horse chestnut also uh, which scientific name is Celio turbinata and Amur cork, which is a tree um, native of uh, Russia. But all these trees distribute in, in uh, Asia. You can see uh, the, the other side of the mountain is um, the western part of the, the Yamagata University Research Forest. There's lots of plantations of uh, cedar trees. Now we are going to see again the east side and the typical broadleaf forest. Now that is autumn, you can see much clearly where the cedar and large trees are because of the color. The cedar is an evergreen and large doesn't lose the leaves uh, so fast. And that's why we can still see patches of them uh, in some areas. I was very surprised with this video because now I can see that there is another patch of uh, large in an area that we not we did not consider before. But anyway, it has a very, very difficult uh, access. Here uh, you can see again the um, a huge, huge uh, patch of cedar. We every year cut 0 0.1 hectares of uh, this forest uh, to sell the wood uh, because cedar is a very uh, well appreciated uh, wood uh, that is used uh, for construction and as I mentioned before it used to be a wood used for uh, the construction of temples. Uh, again um, this is what you're seeing now is the bottom of the forest. Um, this is the, the road that we always use when we come from Suruoka. And uh, you will see the building uh, where most of our students and professors stay. There you see it when we do research.